Okay, so I've narrowed my search down to our compressor. What we're gonna do to check our compressor is we're first gonna unplug and we are gonna break out our ohm reader. This is a mega ohm meter, it's the field piece SMG5. What we wanna do is we wanna to connect to each terminal on the compressor and we wanna put our other lead on a good ground and what we're gonna do is we're gonna check resistance from each terminal to ground. So we turn it on, we're gonna hold, zero. Go to the next, zero. And go to the last, zero. That means we have a grounded compressor. That means that there is zero resistance from each winding to our ground. Now another thing we can do to check and see if we have a failed compressor is we can take out our multimeter, we're going to set it to ohms, and we're going to check resistance between each winding because this is a three-phase compressor. So what we're going to do is go from one to three, and we have 1.68, one to two, one point one oh one point oh nine and two to three point six eight now we know that a three-phase compressor all three windings are separated 120 degrees apart there's no run capacitor there's no start capacitor this is going to run just based off of the three legs of power coming in so the fact that we have a different ohm reading or different resistance reading across each terminal means that we have a damaged compressor and we're gonna have to swap it out. So I just finished cutting out the old compressor and before I put the new one in, I just wanna show you what a new compressor should look like so you have something to compare this to. So we're gonna take our ohmmeter again, connect it to one of our leads, connect it to our copper pipe that's gonna act as a source of ground for us. Open line. Open line. And open line. Okay. That's what we want to see. That means that none of our terminals are connected in any way to our ground. And we could also take our meter, again, set it to continuity. And we wanna take a reading from one to two, one to three, and two to three to see what our connections look like. So we're gonna go one to two, 0 0.81, 0 0.82 ohms, one to three, 0.83 and 2 to 3. 0.83. They're all the same. This is how we know our compressor is good and what we saw before means we have a failed compressor. All right, and now just one more time in case anyone didn't think I had a good ground before. Open line. Open line. Open line. We're good to get this baby up and running.